Good afternoon folks, this is Jacqueline Carton from Pure Nutrition. It's such a beautiful day, I decided to bring the workshop out into the garden. And we're going to first of all look at some of the herbs that I've grown over the last couple of years, which are really simple to actually grow, but also really good in different types of foods that we're talking about as well. So we'll have a little look now at some of the herbs that I have here growing in the garden. We have the sage, which is rich antioxidant and makes a lovely herbal tea. We have the mint, which is so easy to grow. It grows anywhere. Um, it's great in pasta dishes, uh, refreshing and cooling, and it's very good for the digestion. Parsley, which is great in soups and sauces and garlic butter. It's very versatile and very rich in iron. The oregano, which is great for pastas and pizzas and recipes that are lovely for the summer with salad dressings as well. And lemon balm, which is actually a great one for insomnia. It's a good digestive tonic and it makes for a lovely tea. I planted three tiny potatoes about eight weeks ago. I didn't think they were going to grow in the last two weeks. They just started to grow really well. Today we are going to make spaghetti bolognese, a big family favourite. I'm going to show you a plant-based version of it. Um, you can do a meat version if you wish. So let's have a look at the ingredients that we're going to need for that dish. We're going to use one large onion, chopped finely, three cloves of garlic. I've picked a couple from my garden, which I'm going to add into this dish. One red pepper one tin of kidney beans, three sun-dried tomatoes, one tablespoon of tomato puree, two tins of tomatoes or posada, whichever you have is fine, one container of mushrooms. This is where I'm going to use the two cups of veggie mince, or if you wish to do the meat version, that's fine. One carrot, finely grated, two teaspoons of oregano. You can also use thyme here. I'm going to add a little fresh thyme from my garden. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper and two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, we're going to start preparing our vegetables now. So I'm going to start with my homegrown garlic. We're going to chop that finely. We are now going to peel and chop the onion. We are then going to chop and dice the washed mushrooms. Grate the carrot, slice and dice the pepper. Roughly chop your three sun-dried tomatoes. I'm using a pestle and mortar to partially mash down the kidney beans. This will give added creaminess to the sauce. Okay, now we have all our ingredients prepared. Let's start cooking. So we have our pan on. We're going to add our olive oil to the pan. Start with cooking the onions and garlic for around five minutes. Now add our tomato paste and some dried tomatoes. We're now ready to add our mushrooms and grated carrot and mix together. Adding around three tablespoons of cold water to allow the ingredients to cook for another five minutes under a simmering heat at about gas mark three. Now add one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of oregano. Then adding our red pepper and one teaspoon of black pepper. And now we're adding our one tin of tomatoes and one tin of passata. Then we're going to add a little water into the empty containers, swish it around and add it to the pot. So you're getting all the benefits of all the tomatoes 
sauce is now ready to add the two cups of vitamins. Our mashed beans brings a natural creaminess to the sauce and extra protein to the dish. Finally, adding a little more water to the mix and some fresh thyme to add extra flavour. Okay, folks, so our bolognese sauce is still uh, simmering there. So let's have a look now at the type of spaghetti that we're going to use. There's a few different types I want to chat about. Uh, there's one that I particularly like myself, which is the brown rice spaghetti. Um, and the ordinary spaghetti is fine also, but I'm also going to show you how to make courgette spaghetti. So here we are with a little gadget called the spiralizer. They've been about for quite some time. This one I picked up for £10 and it's really easy to use. Uh, you just open up the lid and if you look inside the lid there is three little settings for different blades. I'm going to use the finest blade here to make the actual spaghetti and there's a little pointer inside where I'm going to put a chunk of the courgette in and there's little spikes on the side where you just hold it over and press it in and then you just hold the lid down tightly and just turn. You then lift up and what you have is a little small piece of the courgette left and you lift up the whole thing and there's a little tray underneath and this ends up giving you a whole bowl of courgette spaghetti. Now I'm going to show you how I heat that up to serve it with our lovely bolognese sauce. Now we have a small pan and we're going to put around a tablespoon of olive oil in. And we're going to get our little bowl of courgette spaghetti that we made. Put it into the pan. Add a pinch of salt. A little squeeze of lemon juice and cook for two minutes and then it's ready to serve. Okay so we've made our lovely nutritious uh, bolognese sauce and our courgette spaghetti and now I'm going to finish off with a nice uh, garden herbal drink. Um, that I've made from my seasonal herbs from the garden. So we're going to use some spearmint, some peppermint and a little slice of lemon with some sparkling water. One slice of lemon, roughly chopping one leaf of spearmint and a few leaves of peppermint. This will release the flavours and health benefits of the herbs into the drink. Pop in the glass and pour in the sparkling water. Enjoy folks. Okay, so once we have so many things we can grow in our garden. As you can see, I absolutely love my flowers as well. It's important to realize that we can actually grow some of our own food as well. These are little seedlings I put in in the last week of my kale, broccoli, beetroot, calendula, garlic, scallions, onions, and whilst they're only starting out, this will be in abundance for me over the summer months. So tune in to see how my homegrown foods are doing and how we can add and make some delicious, nutritious dishes with that. Pure Nutrition is available for online video and phone consultations during these challenging times. Appointments can be made via email, Facebook or phone. Thank you.